What's up YouTube? This is Rick G and I'm back with another video and today I got a box of dimes and a box of nickels for you. Uh, I do open them at the bank to make sure that they are circulated. Both of these are circulated and I've checked both ends to see if there are any noticeable enders. Enders uh, on the nickels I always look for buffalo uh, enders or Civil War nickels. Um, that's the easy ones and then uh, the dimes I always look for silver, silver dime enders. Uh, when I open the rolls what I'm looking for in the dimes is uh, anything 64 or older. Roosevelt is 90% uh, silver. Before that was Mercury dimes and then before that was Barber dimes. They were both 90% silver also. And I have never found a Barber dime so I'm trying to talk a Barber dime up. Uh, I also look for 82 no P uh, dime uh, because that's a minute in error and uh, if it doesn't have a P you got a very valuable coin so that's what I look for there are other things in the dimes anything that really stands out I look for that any proofs or anything like that so I'm gonna get directly into these dimes as soon as I find something I'll be back each one of my last boxes for the last couple weeks maybe three or four weeks I've had one silver so uh, hopefully this one gives me silver maybe more all right YouTube I'm roll five into the dimes I believe I got my first silver right here. Pull this out. Got nice reeded edges. Definitely silver. 1964. Let's see if it's got a mint mark on the back. It does not. 1964 silver on the box. See if there's anything else in this roll. Oh, I don't think so. Roll number 48, and I believe right there we got more silver. Pull this out real quick. It's definitely silver. It's got the D mint mark on the bottom. So it's Denver minted 1959 two silvers on the box Let's see if there's anything else in here it doesn't appear so all right YouTube that box is done it's empty right there I'm getting it, about to get into these nickels I did want to give you a, a quick update of what I found I did find two silvers in that box of 59 and a 1964 and I found this isn't gonna work for me is it there it is I found a 2009 P and then two 2009Ds. It's been a while since I found some 2009s in the dime, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to get into this other box. I do have, one second, I do have this list of things that I look for in the nickel boxes. Of course, anything 1939 through uh, 1959 I keep uh, automatically. And then this is my under 11 million minted key dates, and this is the 21 million or under uh, key dates. And if it has a dot next to it, it means that I found them. So I'm still missing that, that this and this <clears throat> and uh but this is the things i look for and uh these are the dots how many of each thing that i have um, i might revise this and uh kind of change them up a little bit but uh that being said this is what i look for these things here of course i'm looking for silver war nickels number 1942 through 1945 and it has a big mint mark above the monticello building on the reverse and then of course any buffaloes uh any v nickels i have found one v nickel while coin roll searching so i'd like to find another one of those so uh that's what i look for i'm gonna get into this as soon as i find something i'll be back all right youtube i'm 15 rolls in i'm going to show you uh, a little update of what i got going on i did find this uh, it's a little bit misaligned die this dime right or this nickel right here if it'll focus there you go a little bit of a misaligned die I did find a 2009, let me get this, 2009D, and then I found one uh, 1940, and then I found nine in the 50s, start with a 53, a couple 54s, 57, 58, and 59s, I'll be back with 10 or 15 more rows, row number 16, YouTube, and uh, I got a 2002, 2010S proof, uh, it's seen some circulation, but uh, it's always cool to find a, a proof coin, I'll keep it. All right, YouTube, I am back. Another 15 rolls down and not very many finds. I did show you that, the 2010S. I did find three more in the 40s, and then I found five in the 50s. All right, YouTube, I am back. And as you see right here, I have silver, and it almost got away from me. And uh, luckily, I look at all of my nickels, obviously, but uh, that's silver right there. You see the little difference in the, in, the, in the color. And it got away from me. I spanned it out like this, and that's whenever I noticed that it had the differentness in, in it, the different color. 
and it is a 1943 i haven't looked at the mint mark on the back 1943 i seen the date 1943p so silver on the box let's see what else oh and that was roll number 34 that i found that in all right youtube that's another 15 that's 45 down i have five left and uh I'm going to zoom in real quick. I, you did see the uh, the war nickel there is a 1943 uh, P. I did find four in the 40s. Uh, that's a 41, and then you see this one. is a It's a S, a D, and a plane. Flip them over. 41, 41, 41. All of them, 1941. So that's pretty cool. I got the whole set uh, in them 15 rows, and then I found four more in the 50s. So I'm going to get these other three rows done, or these other five rows done, and then I'll be back. All right, YouTube, I'm back. That's the end of that box. Uh, and this is the finds here. I did end up with uh, nine in the 40s. Uh, one of them being, obviously, that silver right there. Zoom that in real quick for you. 1943P. And then I ended up with uh, 19 in the 50s. Uh, that last five rows did produce one more uh, 1950s coin. is a 1953S. And that has a uh, uh, 19.2 million. It's a semi-key date for me. Uh, <clears throat> I have found uh, three of those, though. And then, of course, the other finds of the box is this off-center 1980, or uh, misaligned die 1981P. I did find the 2009 <clears throat> in, the, in the 2010S mint mark. And then for the dimes, I did find three 2009s. And then the two... Uh, Silvers, the 59 and the 64. So for the day, I did find three silvers. So that's always great. Uh, I appreciate that out of the boxes. So until next time, good luck to you. I hope you profit on all your searches. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. And until next time, good luck.